Euler's method uses the same principle as slope fields to find a numerical approximation to the solution of a differential equation. Now, there are three things needed in order to use Euler's method. One, you need the initial point. You also must be given a step interval and a differential equation. Now, one thing that I want to mention right now is when I go through this general example, it may not make sense, but when I go through a specific example later on, things will make more sense, okay? But it will give you an idea of what's going to happen. Okay, so um, since the gradient indicates the direction in which the solution curve goes at any point, in fact, we used um, the direction of gradients to create the slope field, and we use the slope field to kind of plot the functions, the family of functions. So basically what you're going to do here is try and reconstruct um, the graph of solutions um, uh, the solution of the graph using the tangent lines. Now, we start at a point, a known point. Now, remember, x0, y0 is a known point because you have to be given a known point. So this is a known point. I mentioned it the previously. You must be given the initial point. This is a known point. Okay, that's where you start from. And... Um, the equation of a tangent line through this point will be given by that. Okay, so this will be the equation of the tangent through this known point where M is the gradient. And actually, you can find M um, by plugging it, uh, by plugging the known point into the differential equation. All right, so this is equals to M. And basically, you can find M, which is that, by plugging. Um, the non point into the differential equation. So <clears throat> the equation of the tangent through that non point will be given by um, this equation here, and you can rearrange that to end up with this equation. Okay, so you rearrange that to end up with this. Now, this diagram will give you an idea of what I'm talking about. So this is basically the first equation that we have there, all right? This one here. And uh, <clears throat> if you set this to what? Uh, now, <clears throat> the next point is, suppose we set x to x1. This is what I mean. Suppose you set this x to x1 and this y to y1. Okay? Then the equation will change to that. Okay? The equation that we have above here, this equation here will change into this one here, which can be written as y1 is equal to y0 plus h multiplied by the gradient. Now, <clears throat> this is because x1 minus x0 is basically this distance here, all right? So, <clears throat> and that x1 minus x0 is actually h. So instead of writing this bit, Instead of writing this bit, you can just write h, all right, in the equation. And then you can actually use this to find the approximation at, at x1. So you can use this to find um, the approximation of that function at x is equals to 1, which is at this point here, at this point here. So you can use uh, that line to find the approximation of the function at x is equals to 1. Like I said, this will make more sense when you start solving problems, all right? Um, now, suppose we wish to obtain an approximation at x2. Now, x2 is here. Um, x2, y2, which means what you're focusing on is this new tangent, um, this one here, all right? <coughs> So, um, the question of the tangent uh, through a point x1, y1 is given by this, all right? Now, remember, <clears throat> to find the equation of this tangent, which is this one here, all that you have to do is plug x1, y1 into uh, the differential equation. 
what I mean is you just plug that into the differential equation and then you get the gradient of the line that I've highlighted, the new one here. Okay? And then what you do is we do the same thing. So what you're going to end up with is uh, um, setting x is equals to x, uh, x2, x is equals to x2, and y is equals to y2. The equation um, turns to y2 minus y1 plus f into x1 plus y1 into that. Now, instead of this again, um, instead of this bit, you can just write h because the step size is the same all through, if you notice, h, h, h. It doesn't change, all right? All through, you end up with that. So you can continue this process on and on and on until you get an approximation for function at a specific value of x. Okay? <clears throat> but that's the idea. Uh, now let's look at uh, a specific example. Now, suppose dy over dx is equals to x plus y, where the initial value um, is um, uh, when when x zero is when x is equals to zero, y is equals to one. So that is the initial point we are going to start. That's a known point we are going to start from, and um, the step size is zero point two, and we are supposed to use this to find the value of y when x is equals to one. Now, because you'll perform most of the calculations for this each iteration on your GDC, it's often advisable to display relevant results in a table. And I have a table here for you, so you can use this table to organize your information. Um, <clears throat> so before I start, I just want to uh, specify a few things. Remember the formula that we are going to use is um, yn plus 1, and this is in your formula booklet, y sub n plus 1 is equals to y sub n plus h multiplied by f xn yn. All right? <clears throat> now remember, this is what gives us the gradient. Just keep that in mind. All right, don't forget that. Uh, this is what gives us the gradient. This is what gives us M. That is what gives us uh, M. But anyway, let's carry on. Um, so the step size is 0 0.2. Now the initial values are um, X0 is equal to 0. Y0 is equal to 1. Um, h is equal to 0 0.2. That's the step size. So keep that in mind. So in this table, what I'm going to do is, those are my initial conditions. So I'm just going to start here. Um, x sub 0 is 0. y sub 0 is 1. And if you plug this into the differential equation above here, this one here, you'll find that the gradient, remember this is actually m, all right? The gradient will be equal to, I write m correctly. So the gradient will be equal to um, 0 plus 1, which is just 1, all right? But let me just fill in this table for the step size. The step size is 0 0.2 all the way, so that will be um, 0 0.2 and 0 0.4, 0 0.6, 0 0.8, 1. And then here, so remember this is, uh, this is our, our x0, right? This is x0, and this is our y0, all right? So basically, um, if I plug that, to find now y1, because here now what I want is y1, that will be equal to y0, right, plus h, which is the step size, uh, which is 0 0.2, plus uh, multiplied by the gradient, which happens to be 1. So what I mean is uh, end up with y1 will be equal to uh, y0, which is 1, all right, 
plus uh, 0 0.2 multiplied by uh, um, the gradient, which is 1. All right. Let me show you where this, this comes here. That goes there. All right. And the step size is 0 0.2. All right. This bit goes there, if that makes sense. All right. So let's carry on. Um, what we'll end up with is if you work this out, you'll end up with uh, 1.2. And then here you just use um, 0 0.2 plus your new value of y, 1.2, to get uh, 1.4. Because the gradient is given by that formula there. All right, so let's fill in this table um, same way. Um, <clears throat> so to get uh, uh, the next value of y, that will be equal to, um, we now have 1.2, this value of y goes there, plus uh, 0 0.2 multiplied by 1.4 which will be equal to 1.48, okay? Now, note that this value of y now comes here, all right? This gradient here goes there, and the step size is the same. You have the same step size all through. Okay, let me take this arrows because it just caused confusion. And then here, what I'm going to do is same thing, you add the values of x and y because that's what um, that, that's how you get the gradient from the differential equation above x plus y. All right, so the new values of x plus y, so 0 0.4 plus uh, 1.48, and you end up with uh, 1.88. Um, so now I just go ahead and carry on with the calculations. I hope you have got the idea of what's going on. So now we'll have uh, 1.48, our previous v value for y, plus 0 0.2 multiplied by uh, 1.88. And that will give us uh, 1.856. And then here it will be 0 0.6, the value of x plus the new value for y. And that should give us uh, 2.456. Uh, and then here, you carry on. So your previous value for y, which was uh, 1.856 uh, plus 0 0.2 multiplied by the previous gradient, which is 2.456. Uh, and what you'll end up with is 2.3472. Uh, and then to calculate the new gradient, you'll do um, 0 0.8, the new value of x plus the new value of y, which is 2.3472, uh, which happens to be 3.14. And now, um, the value of y at x is equals to 1. That's what you're looking for. So that will be equal to the previous value of y, which is 2.3472. Uh, plus um, 0 0.2 multiplied by the previous gradient, 3.1472. And if you work this out, this will be equal to um, 2.97664. All right. So <clears throat> this is uh, what you end up with. It's an approximate value of the value of y at x is equals to 1. So <clears throat> basically, y1. Will be equal to 2.976 uh, 
or to three significant figures, 